The MiG-15 etched its name into history during the Korean War, where it soared into skies under the command of Soviet, Chinese, and North Korean pilots. Deployed in formidable numbers, it became the spearhead of fierce aerial combat above the rugged Korean peninsula, most famously clashing with the American F-86 Sabre in what would become some of the most dramatic dogfights of the jet age. Though the two aircraft were evenly matched, the MiG-15 stunned its opponents with a blistering climb rate and exceptional high altitude performance, made possible by its lightweight frame and powerful engine. The F-86 met the challenge with ruthless efficiency in close-range combat, backed by advanced avionics and the skilled hands of well-trained American pilots. The MiG-15 was powered by the Klimov VK-1 turbojet engine, a Soviet adaptation of the British Rolls-Royce Nene acquired through a combination of diplomacy and reverse engineering. This engine provided impressive thrust, enabling the aircraft to reach speeds of up to 1,075 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest fighters of its era. The swept wing configuration with a 35 degree angle improved maneuverability and stability at high velocities. The aircraft's armament was equally formidable, consisting of one 37 millimeters cannon and two 23mm cannons mounted under the nose, delivering substantial firepower against enemy aircraft. These dramatic engagements peaked in the infamous Mig Alley, a stretch of sky near the Yalu River, where contrails tangled above a frozen landscape and lives were won or lost in the span of a moment. Amid the roar of combat and the streaking trails of jet engines, Soviet aces quietly claimed the skies their triumphs buried beneath layers of Cold War secrecy and political silence. Their names were withheld from headlines, their victories omitted from official records. They faded into the shadows of history, haunting the skies of Mig Alley, not as decorated heroes, but as silent warriors, remembered only by the comrades who flew at their side and the empty chairs left behind by those who never made a home. In a dramatic twist of history, one Mig, 15 became a prize for the West when a young North Korean pilot, Lieutenant No Kum Sok, defected in 1953, risking everything. He flew his MiG-15 across the DMZ and landed at a UN air base in South Korea. The aircraft was quickly shipped to the United States, where engineers eagerly examined its design, unlocking critical insights into Soviet aviation. The MiG-15 remains an enduring symbol of early jet age innovation. Its sleek design, formidable combat capabilities, and deep imprint on Cold War history cement its legacy as one of the most influential fighter aircraft ever built. More than just a machine of war, it stands as a bold testament to Soviet engineering ambition, a creation that challenged the West, shaped the skies over Korea, and left a lasting mark on the evolution of aerial warfare.